good early morning from the Kuala Lumpur Airport Hotel here in Malaysia. Um, it's only a little bit after 5 a.m. in the morning and uh, I'm happy that you decided to join me on my Malindo flight from Kuala Lumpur to Hainan Island in China today. So the great thing about the airport hotel in Kuala Lumpur is that you get a free ride in an electronic car from the hotel reception to the terminal. It's basically connected and it gives you some fresh air because it's really already in the morning hot and humid here and uh, it's pretty fun as well, isn't it? So, off we go! <laughs> So here we are in the new terminal of Kuala Lumpur International Airport, commonly known as KLIA2. And this is the home of uh, Malindo. Now if you ask me, uh, Malindo sounds more like a, like a box of pralines or something. Give me 500 grams of that Malindo, please. In this case it's an airline. And um, if you uh, look it up, uh, you will find out that its uh, name um, assembled of uh, the words Malaysia and Indonesia um, to honor the friendship between both countries. This is also what you can read. Now, if you really look into the history of why Malindo was established, um, it tells a little bit of a different story. It was actually a response of the Lion Air Group to the establishment of Indonesia Air Asia, which is the Indonesian wing of Air Asia. So Malindo is a subsidiary of uh, Lion Air of Indonesia and um, targets at uh, responding to that move. The first flight was um, March 22nd, 2013. So right now uh, the operation is about five years old and we're gonna check it out where they stand today. Come on, join me. So, at the check-in I got my boarding pass now, got a launch invitation and I managed to defend my carry-on luggage which they tried to check in and um, I didn't like that idea and managed to pass on that, uh, uh, that message. Um, now I'm gonna have a short breakfast, uh, find out uh, how their lounge is like. So Kuala Lumpur airport is the largest airport in Malaysia, not a big surprise. It is actually a very busy and huge facility. It is the 23rd largest uh, airport in the world by passenger traffic. And it has a very, very nice architecture, which um, involves a lot of natural aspects and lots of sunlight um, and, and green. But uh, I guess the element that is more uh, important and interesting for us is this fine selection of airplane models here. So the launch offered by Malindo Air is the uh, launch of the Sama Sama Express Airport Hotel um, in the airside um, area of the terminal. And it's actually a very decent launch, uh, has good, uh, good variety of food and drinks. It's a nice place to have a late breakfast and uh, to spend the time until the flight. So Malindo sees itself as a hybrid carrier in terms of offering a high class product at a low cost price. Previously it was understood that uh, Malindo Air was uh, supposed to rebrand into Batik Air Malaysia. Um, however, obviously that is put on hold, so uh, we will see our aircraft being a Malindo one. Um, it's going to be a uh, Boeing 737-800 today, which is the main aircraft type um, that they operate besides ATR-72 aircraft. Um, for short sectors up to two hours um, around Malaysia and uh, they have a smaller fleet as well of the 737-900 uh, ER, the long one. So we are gonna experience the main product today and um, with that uh, hybrid product setup I'm really interested to see how the business class uh, is gonna look like on board. We'll find it out very soon. As much as I like the food provided in the launch, I have to say that the best thing that I found here in the launch is how much care they take of me. Um, this is a warning sign in the restroom which tells us that uh, we should be careful when washing the feet in the wash basin because we could slip away. So guys, next time you wash your feet in a public restroom, take good care! 
So here we go. Didn't I just say that we are uh, on a Malindo flight and that the rebranding into Baltic Air somehow didn't happen? Looks pretty much like Baltic Air today. Still says Malindo on the fuselage. Obviously it's the uh, Malaysian wing. Um, looks nice in the morning sun here in Kuala Lumpur. Let's see if it looks similarly nice on the inside. Boarding begins on time. Cannot ask for more right now. So this is 737 appearing brand new. Um, the new sky interior as you can see here on top of the cabin. Um, very roomy experience. Um, big business class uh, seats uh, over here uh, with a full pretty full recline uh, possibility I believe and also I think there are TV screens I think we have enough time to find that out during the flight right now the boarding continues <laughs> This is your life jacket for economic class. It is placed under your seat for business class. It is under net to save the unrest. Sunny takeoff. Let's enjoy the takeoff run now.
pretty spectacular takeoff actually. We departed, uh, as I said before, on runway uh, 32, which uh, means um, into a direction of about 320 degrees. In other words, uh, northwesterly direction was a, a pretty derated uh, takeoff, not a very full aircraft. It didn't use the full engine power, it was a shallow climb out as well uh, with, a, with a slight right turn uh, after going airborne and then another right turn going more into the north northeasterly direction where we need to go. On the left hand side, fantastic pictures of uh, Kuala Lumpur, downtown, even the Twin Towers was clearly uh, possible to see them. And then uh, north of it, the, the mountain area, um, beautiful views. Now that's a good start into an interesting flight, I believe. And uh, I'm looking forward to the rest that's gonna come. The flight time, I'm not too sure if I understood it right, 3 hour 50, I believe, or 15. I'll find out. It's a bit more than I expected. Uh, the distance, however, is um, straight distance is uh, about 1,100 uh, miles, and this is probably the time it takes to get there. So uh, let's have a look. So what I did find out in the meanwhile is that, um, unfortunately. This particular aircraft here does not have any TV screens, which uh, is in a direct contradiction with my old principle that flying without air show is possible but totally pointless. Nevertheless, I think with those great views that we had after takeoff, um, there is nothing to complain for me. And uh, I think anyway, um, I have a rough idea where we are flying and I can share that with you. It's all the way to the northeast. Uh, Hainan is the southernmost um, province of China, by the way. Um, the island used to be part of the mainland of what is uh, Vietnam today, but it didn't move over last weekend. It was a few million years ago after a volcano eruption. So today it's the island where it is, and we will have a closer look at it later on. straight after takeoff the service is uh, starting so here we have beautiful Hi. Hiraya okay. and uh, so I dressed the first for you and we will serve your breakfast shortly. Thank you very much. Hi, so, so this is for you. Okay, you have a nasi lemak together with a prosama. Enjoy me. So if you would ask me what I like most about traveling across Asia it would probably be uh, the super friendly people the great food, uh, usually great weather, um, fantastic nature, um, there's a lot of stuff but um, really the food is on top of the list and yeah, here's another proof why, really really good stuff. It is extremely spicy though, um, it's really too spicy for me in theory, technically, but I really like it. So even in economy class it's very roomy, um, it's a new aircraft of course, um, everything in mint condition. Uh, no TV screens here, but what they do have is um, they do have a full uh, catering program here as well. So you get a free meal, you get free drinks, and on some flights you even have alcoholic beverages. Um, and what they do have is you can even choose between different types of menu. So this is really exceeding regular business class, uh, I mean economy class products. So maybe a few more details about this uh, particular airframe we're sitting on here. 737-800, uh, registration is 9 Mike Lima Charlie Lima. Um, an airplane that's uh, almost factory new, has been uh, delivered last year, um, early 2017, making it just uh, one and a half years old at this uh, very point in time. Um, 
Malindo has been uh, the first airline in Malaysia uh, offering in-flight Wi-Fi on some of their aircraft. This particular plane is not one of those uh, equipped with the system, but others do have it. Um, the, the route map uh, served by the 737s of Malindo is quite extensive. Um, it's ranging all the way from uh, Beijing up in the north down to a couple of Australian destinations like uh, Brisbane for example uh, being served out of Bali. So for moving the seat recline and the footrest we do have these uh, different knobs on the armrest down here and I think now it's a good time to try out um, how we can do it. So the first one is for the recline. I wanted to check this recline thing from the other seat and I moved one one row to the front and uh, trying it here gives a different result it really moves further back so uh, a little tip for those traveling in business class on Malindo maybe you do not want to take the last row row three because the recline is uh, totally blocked through the cabin divider the seats are too close to that never mind in rows one and two it's a generous uh, recline and you can really relax it so despite the relatively short flight time uh, traveling in business class you even get your um, Baltic Air uh, amenity kit So finally we're making landfall over Vietnam. Uh, right now you can see down there uh, all these rice fields underwater. It's a beautiful, beautiful view today. actually wondering how much rice the population can eat. Thank you very much Uriah. No matter how long the flight takes, Uriah takes the best care of me for sure. So let me give you a little bit of information about uh, Haiko Airport, the airport we are heading to now. Um, it is located in the north of the island of Hainan. Uh, it is the largest uh, airport on the island and it's operated by HNA Group, which is uh, the mother company of uh, Hainan Airlines Group as well. Um, however, it is not uh, the busiest airport of Hainan. Uh, that would be Sanya Airport in the south. Sanya is a destination that is not too well known uh, in uh, western countries. However, it's an extremely famous uh, touristic destination in China and it's also uh, increasingly known and uh, popular in Russia. And uh, Chinese people go there for uh, going to the beach and relaxing in the sun. It's a very hot climate, uh, it's uh, comparable to Hong Kong, Guangzhou and um, obviously also in the north, Haikou, where we are going now, um, is a very hot uh, subtropical climate. Good morning ladies and gentlemen, this is your pilot speaking, Captain Abdul Muhim. For information, we started the descent uh, a while ago with about uh, 380 kilometers to touchdown. Arrival today is expected to be on schedule at 5 minutes to noon. The weather is supposed to be fine, clear sky with a Swiss temperature of 28 degrees Celsius. On behalf of the crew and Malindo Airways, so thank you for being with us on this flight. We do hope to see you again. Thank you everyone and have a pleasant day. So on the southeastern tip of Hainan Island, we just made a beautiful landfall here. Um, you could actually see all these uh, nice uh, beaches and uh, seems to be great weather as well. Also, we overflew an airport in the absence of an in-flight entertainment system. I can only guess that that must have been Sanya Airport. So uh, now there's just uh, around 30 minutes flight time left 
and um, we will cross the island um, still into north um, easterly direction um, and then we will land in uh, Haiko airport of Hainan and uh, you will see it's very much dominated by the different airlines belonging to the Hainan group not a big surprise I guess the island of Hainan from south to north and um, we've um, passed the northern shoreline and uh, what you can see just a little bit more further to the north is already the Chinese uh, mainland it's only a narrow strait that separates the island from the mainland
one, we have landed at Hakau Mela International Airport. It is accepted by many remains until the aircraft comes to coffee stop and its bed sign has been switched off. Do be careful whenever you open your vehicle compartment. You may use your mobile phones once the aircraft door is open for this partition. On behalf of Captain Abdul Muhyim, as is by co-pilot Ashraf Hakimi and the rest of the crew, we thank you for flying with Malindo Air. We look forward to seeing again and have a pleasant day. So welcome to Heiko International Airport. We are going to go now to the very small international terminal compared to the huge domestic terminal because most of the traffic is Chinese of course. Thanks a lot for joining me today on this interesting trip um, and I hope to see you again tomorrow. Tomorrow it's going to be Hong Kong Airlines all the way from here to Hong Kong. Please follow me on airclipstraveler.com. Thank you very much for being with me.